Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today because I am announcing a new awesome giveaway for you guys. It is going to have some awesome, awesome prizes in it. Uh, if you look down in the description, you'll see the link to some Astro Gaming Bluetooth headsets. These things are ridiculous, but that's not all. There's also going to be uh, some in-game currency or ice points, incredibly concentrated evil points, for the game Vainglory, which I have been playing a lot of. Me and Nick have been spending a lot of time playing it. It is an awesome game. It's absolutely crushing the charts on the App Store right now. It's getting great reviews, um, but I really wanted you guys to be able to have an opportunity to win this headset as well as these points. Um, so all you have to do to enter is go down to the link, you'll see a link to my Twitter, click on that and retweet the tweet that has this video in it um, and has all the information in it and you will automatically be entered to win the headset as well as the points. Um, I really wanted to post this on my main channel for you guys because I wanted to give y'all an introduction to the game because it's something that I'm really loving playing and that is genuine. I love playing this. Um, I'm already pretty high up in uh, the levels when it comes to the karma measurement system um, which shows that I've been playing it a lot but anyways after this these videos are gonna be on my second channel there's already a couple on there if you want to go check them out and see some gameplay but for the most part this video is about the giveaway and is also an introduction to kind of laning and jungling and some other aspects of the game that you guys definitely want to watch in order to be able to play it I would definitely tell you all to consider downloading the app there's a link to it in the description as well it is called Vainglory go check it out the graphics are amazing it's a 60 frame per second game which is freaking ridiculous. It is so fun to play. Um, and hopefully after this video, you'll know a little bit more about it. So definitely go check it out, guys, and go on that Twitter and retweet that tweet for a chance to win. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys, so we are right here at the loading screen getting ready to go after it in vain glory. Um, so you're going to start off, you're going to spawn right here. You can see in the bottom there, there's uh, three icons, uh, the squares. Those are your abilities. Um, they're going to start off with a plus sign above one. Uh, and the second one as well, and you get to choose what you want to start with. I always start off with the first one because for Ringo, the character that I'm playing, that is his CC ability or his crowd control ability. Um, so I always build that one up first. Uh, next, you're going to start off at the store. It's going to prompt you to buy something. Go ahead and buy the, the recommended item because generally that will help you out uh, the most as you're new to this game and you're working around. So. We're moving our way up into the middle now. Right now, there's three of us up in the lane. That is way too many. Generally, you want to just have one person up in the lane doing some damage to the uh, other minions. You can see this glaive right here is coming way too close. Uh, that turret actually turned to him to focus on him, but he turned around just soon enough. Um, they're pushing way too much right now. You don't want to push that much this early on in the game. You want to kind of stay back and you want to farm. Okay, we do have too many people up here right now. That ally hero just died. Um, she should have been down in the jungle, uh, jungling, which I'll teach you guys about in just a second. But um, right now, we're just trying to get the final hit on these minions because that gives you gold. And gold gives you more gear. And better gear gives you more damage, which in turn makes you kill more people, which makes you win. <laughs> so what you really want to do is focus on getting as much gold as possible. Um, so that's what we're doing up here right now. You can see we're going in for the turret, but their enemy comes up, so I'm going to back up just a little bit and kind of wait. It's kind of a cat and mouse type thing where you uh, chase them, run around, all that kind of stuff. Um, and again, you want to stay in range of the minions to take them out and get gold, uh, but you want to stay far enough away that you don't die. Again, you can see right there at the bottom, my abilities popped up. I'm going to go ahead and get my second one right there, and we are going to take out this glaive. I'm going to chase him down and get that final kill on him, and you're going to see... The turret gave me one hit, but that's enough. I'm fine with getting that much damage because I got the kill from it. Uh, you can see my fellow uh, laner right there actually healed me a second ago, which is awesome. He's going to do it again right here. So it's always good to have one of those on the team uh, to help you out. But uh, I'm going to push it a little bit too much right here. I'm going in. I see that both of them are low health, and I'm just going to go for it, which was dumb. I shouldn't have done it. So I almost took out their... Uh, pedal, but I was not able to um, and so that was an example of pushing too far You want to be patient and you want to stay back and do work So I'm gonna come back when I die I'm gonna buy you always want to check and see if you can buy a recommended item or not and you want to get it And then you want to head back out now We're gonna head into the jungle and I'm gonna explain a little bit about the jungle to you So there are two different kinds of actually there's four different kinds of bosses or five if you count the final uh, in the jungle you have um, single bosses which we're gonna see in just a second. There's one, um, he's about to spawn. Um, but down here in the bottom, there are two minions that stand next to each other. They give you gold and experience. So you're gonna want somebody down here all the time uh, getting experience and gold 
from these people because once again gold is what wins it for you um, you'll see right there that dice above my head you'll see it pop up again when I get this kill that means that my next attack is gonna be a critical so that means I'm gonna do a lot of damage on it so if you see an enemy Ringo you gotta be careful if he has those above his head this is a single uh, minion boss and he actually heals you you can see that green circle spinning around him so when he dies I'm gonna get health so I always attack the other two I take damage then I go and attack him and kind of get a heal spell on me if you will that helps me um, regenerate health. So if you ever need health and you can do a lot of damage, head down there, take him out, um, and get a little health boost, all right? Next, we're gonna talk about the minion miner right here. So this guy right here, if you kill him, your minions do more damage to the enemy team. Uh, but they're also, they're also worth more if the enemy team kills them. So you have to decide, do you wanna give them more gold? Um, or not. If you feel like pushing the lane into their base, then you want to get uh, that minion miner as well as the enemy minion miner, all right? Now we're going to go ahead and talk about jungling. So you saw me standing in those bushes right there. The other Ringo couldn't see me because I was hidden, so I can pop out and kill him really quickly. You want to take advantage of that as you move throughout the game because it is very, very important to stay hidden and to take advantage of people like that. Um, we're going to work our way on up, and I'm going to teleport back to the home base because I need health. Um, I checked the store again. I don't have enough gold to buy anything So I'm gonna stay behind this line and regenerate health and energy um, so that I can do all of my abilities So there we go You can see I'm moving on now that my health is up and we are going to head back down into the jungle And now we're gonna go and talk about the gold miner So the gold miner gives you gold and you can see in the middle of that mini map in the top right There's gonna be a little clock going and whoever's owning, whoever owns the mini miner or whoever controls him at the end of that is gonna get a lot of gold. So you're gonna see right here that we actually get 258 gold, 300 is the max, um, because the time limit on him was almost up. So you wanna take him uh, as close to that time as possible, but whoever gets the last hit on it is the one that's gonna take him. Um, now I'm standing in these bushes and I am waiting for the enemy to come um, because again, we are going to try and take uh, we're gonna try and take that gold miner unless we already know we already have him So I was waiting for my care my teammate right here who was coming up this pedal has no idea that I'm there uh, He heals me real quick. We take out that pedal and then uh, that other Ringo is going to take me out and use his special Ultimate ability right there, which is the third ability. You can call it ult if you want to um, that does the most damage for me um, And it does damage over time. It's really really awesome But we were able to get that kill and take out <clears throat> both of those characters so now we're heading down to talk about one of the final things in the jungle, and that is the Kraken. The Kraken is so important um, in defeating the enemy team because uh, when you defeat it, you can see it right there, it will take you um, all the way into their base. Now the only thing that's dangerous about it is whoever gets the last hit, whether it's your teammates or the enemy teammates, they're going to control the Kraken. So you have to make sure nobody's hiding in the jungle, you have to clear all that out, make sure that that's all clear. Otherwise, somebody can sneak out and take it from you even though you've done all the work. So you should be very, very careful with that. But you're going to see right here in a second, Kraken unleashed. And that Kraken is going to head over and start destroying a whole bunch of their turrets for us uh, and leading us to an ultimate victory right there. Um, so again, you can see those little dice above my head. That means that my next attack is going to be a critical attack. Um, I'm checking this store down in the bottom of the map. You can see its icon up on the mini map in the top right. Um, but real quick, I'm going to go ahead and just take out this pedal for fun. <laughs> also, if you look in the top right, you're going to see those three little symbols that say Go, Avoid, and OMW are on my way. Um, and those you can just uh, click on and click on the map and it'll show a little notification uh, to uh, tell your teammates what's going on. Uh, now we're heading on in. Uh, you can see Vainglory actually just retweeted uh, one of my videos, but the Kraken right there is taking out that enemy turret and we are working our way into their base. Um, again, you want to make sure that the turret is focused on the Kraken before you start attacking it. So we're going to go ahead and focus on that turret, try and take it out. Enemy pedal comes out, uh-uh, you're going to get some serious damage done to you. But you can see that I got a little bit too close and that turret almost focused on me. Um, if you attack an enemy player next to a turret, the turret's going to turn and um, do some damage to you. This uh, Glaive is going to head out and do his big stun on me, but we are going to take him out because we all focus on him. And then we're going to turn back, we're going to take out uh, this enemy crystal, and it's going to be all done with. But guys, that was pretty much a basic tutorial for y'all on the video. 
or on the game. Vainglory is amazing. I am loving it. I actually just got done playing with Nick a second ago. We're having a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, and so I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm a gamer. I like good games. I like good graphics. I like all that kind of stuff. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Again, if y'all have any questions about it, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Um, some things you want to take away from the video is to um, only go back to your home uh, when you're really, really low on health. You want to stay out as long as possible because that wastes time and it gives other people more time to kill minions. Um, you only want to have, you don't want to have all three people in the lane. Uh, you want to have at least one person in the jungle at all times, uh, maybe even two to help uh, work around and kill those bosses, get experience and whatnot. Um, you want to make sure to get the last hit on the Kraken, and you only want to control the minion miner if you want to push the lane. Otherwise, you want the enemy to control it so that you can get more gold from killing the minions that are in the lane. I uh, hope this helped a lot of you guys. I hope that you all go download that app, check in the description. And again, remember, you have a chance to win some Astro headsets as well as five sets of 1,500 ice points for five different winners. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and play on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.